Wanted to go against Big 12 competition. Last couple of weeks you had that opportunity. What do you take from that after uh, two outings? I um, mean, quite honest with you, I was kind of just saying that on the, on a hope. To be honest with you, I never thought that, that I'd quite get the opportunity to start. But, I, um, but the last two weekends have been everything, and and then some that I expected. So I can't uh, can't be prouder than uh, than myself, or more proud of myself in those moments. And you know, I just got to thank my coaching staff, my teammates, everyone who supported me to get to where I am. And obviously the man upstairs, without him, without the guys around me, there's there's no chance of doing that. So over the last couple of weeks, then, if you point to any of the older guys on this team, to you know just ask them what it's like to pitch against the Big 12, or just kind of everything when you're in experience. Uh, no, I've definitely leaned on the older guys, guys who've you know, have done it already this year, and guys who've done it in other places, and um, trying to get as much information going into it um, as I could, trying to trying to prepare myself to, for uh, for what was going to happen, and obviously, you know, Big 12. Conference as, as a whole is, is a great conference and a lot of really, really good players and a lot of really good hitters. So you kind of you're doing yourself a disjustice trying to go in blind and not know what to expect. So I definitely leaned on the older guys and and the coaches for support there. Kind of along those lines, you know, you're talking about Big 12. I mean, you know, you guys put up 30 runs the last two games, and you know, TCU, Oklahoma, they've all put up runs throughout the Texas. I mean, you know that going in. So going into this tournament, how do you? Kind of approach this tournament that could become a, you know, a slugfest uh, out out there in Texas, and you know it's not going to be easy for, for for pitchers down there. Yeah, absolutely. You, know, you just go in the same way you do every game. You prepare the same way. You go with the same mindset, and you know every time I step on the mound, I know if I do what I need to do, do do the best of my ability. I have great guys behind me. As long as I do that, these guys are going to make plays, and they've done it all year, and they continue to do it for me on the mound side. You know, there's times when you make mistakes and guys get a hold of balls like what happened today in the center field. But at the end of the day, you know, going in, if you long as you execute the, the the game plan and trust in your guys, that you should come out on top. When you see a game like where, where TCU put up like 30 in a game, and obviously Oklahoma's put up some, is yeah. that like the pitcher's worst nightmare as you're preparing for a game? Uh, not really. Um, I mean, for me personally, some other guys it might be different, but again. Um, you prepare for the for the game the same way you do every other game. So, you know, going in, like I said, as long as as long as you do what you need to do, you, you should be fine. Outside of the obvious of throwing strikes, what do you have to have working? To I got up for, good start? for me personally, I got I got to throw my off speed uh, stuff for strikes early. Um, establish that I can do that, and that allows me to throw my off speed not only for out pitches, but allows me to be more effective with my fastball as well. Um, and that was that was the key today. First first inning, first two innings was. My my off speed was was good, but not quite where it needed to be. And as the game went on, I was able to find that, and uh, was able was able to throw a lot more strikes and able to make my fastball better as the game went on as well. So it was it was definitely a learning curve. You know, I, last weekend I was very fastball uh, heavy, and it showed. I got hit up pretty good, and today was the complete opposite. Got got ahead early with my off speed and made my fastball fastball good, and um, was able to get guys out pretty easily. Last night we spoke to JJ and he said, we asked him what his expectations were. He said he just wanted to compete for a spot and it's worked out pretty well so far. So I guess I'll turn the question to you. What were your expectations heading into this season and how's it worked out? Uh, quite honestly, I didn't have much expectations. Uh, I had a had a knee surgery in the fall, didn't get back to uh, like mid-January. So for me, it was trying to just get as much experience as possible, get as many innings as, uh, as I could. And, I never once thought that it would turn into you know, being being a midweek starter and then eventually into a weekend starter. So uh, my expectations were very low, and I've exceeded everything I could have imagined as a freshman. So it's, it's been it's been one heck of a ride. <laughs> Which knee was that on, and how did it affect your motion, your recovery? When did you feel good, like you were back from it? Uh, so it was my right knee, second time on my right knee. Um, it took me probably to the middle of March to like really trust my knee and know that I that it wasn't going to affect me um, and it wasn't so much physically as more mentally trying to get over that that barrier of like hey you no know, your body can do it now you know tr let your mind trust that your body can do it so uh, it's probably so it probably mid-March is when I started to truly be able to trust it and, and that didn't really affect me anymore after that. You talk about how you kind of evolved your role midweek, then a weekend. You've only faced two Big 12 teams, and now you're going into the Big 12 tournament. Do you think that can kind of 
be an advantage to you as only two lineups have seen you compared to Ben and uh, Jacob? Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, obviously, in, in college baseball, no matter what level you're at, there's, there's scouting reports, there's videos. But uh, it's much different than watching someone on a screen and looking at paper than it is of being in the box. And the same, same, same goes as, as a pitcher. You know? I can watch all the, all the film and look at all the numbers I want to, but when it gets, in, when it gets to game time and I'm facing a guy in the box, it's, it's a completely different ball game. So I think it definitely has an advantage for me going forward. It's not a lot of people have seen me. So um, hopefully I can use it and continue to be pretty good. You've had the Good. Can you tell that people are getting a scout on you? Are hitters attacking you differently now that you've started a few games? I don't think so. Um, you know, one thing I feel like I do really well, and I've done it, I think, all year, is uh, I, don't, I don't have a sequence. I don't follow a sequence. It's always just a good mix. I can throw any pitch in any count. So I never – it's really it's really hard to, in my opinion, to, to pattern what I do, and to that – is obviously an advantage when you have three different pitches that you can throw in any counts. You never know what's coming, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It's it'll be it'll be fun. Oh, it's still kind of nerve wracking. I'm still trying to take it all. <laughs> you got some experience pitching in a big league park earlier this year uh, against Pitt there at PNC. So do, does that excite you that you'll have another opportunity to pitch in another <laughs> big league park? You know, coming up next week, it, it, and I guess with that experience too. Does that help maybe calm your nerves a little bit, knowing that you've kind of done that before? Oh, certainly. Um, I don't know. It's it's every, it's every kid's dream. From it doesn't matter if you're in college, high school. Literally, doesn't matter. Everyone wants to play pro, pro baseball and play in a pro stadium. So it's, you know, to be able to do that, it doesn't matter what level you are. It's it's really really unique and really cool. But no, definitely having experience in doing it, I think I'll I'll be calmer going into it than what I was last time.